Hi guys, my name is Mike. I'm a filmmaker and content creator from Liverpool. And in this video, I'm gonna to talk to you about my 16 inch MacBook Pro that I've had for around seven months now. So this video is heavily inspired by Josh Goodgen. He's a fellow YouTuber and content creator. Basically, he did a video talking about his thoughts on the laptop, and it made me think, you know, I've got various things I wanna talk about, about mine. Uh, I've had mine for seven months. It's been around the block a bit. It's been on jobs where I've had tight deadlines, you know, edits have to be done and rendered. And basically I wanna talk about how this laptop has performed. Basically my thoughts on it, is it worth the money? Especially if you're a filmmaker or photographer. I'm just gonna show you the actual spec on my laptop. Everything is baseline other than the RAM. The RAM storage I upgraded to 32. So the first thing I wanna talk about is the size. Now, I used to have a 15 inch MacBook Pro from 2013 or 14. And honestly, in terms of the physical size of this thing, it's not much bigger than the 15 inch one. The thing you will notice is the screen size is larger. Basically, they've reduced the size of the bevel going around the outside and yeah so you get more screen real estate to look at but the actual laptop stays a similar size this is obviously really nice so it still fits in my camera bag and it still fits in my you know my rucksack if i'm going out but i get that slight bit more screen space so it's just a really nice thing to have one of the things that impressed me most about this laptop is the actual sound that comes from these speakers it's unbelievable honestly i've never experienced anything like this with a laptop it is bassy it is loud it's like honestly when someone whaps out one of them little little portable bluetooth speakers and it it just thumps this laptop is like one of those genuinely okay it's not going to get as loud as one of those but you can watch films on this you can listen to music it is more than loud enough i've Honestly, until you hear it in person, you won't be able to appreciate it. But, you know, these speakers are great. And in terms of for video editing, you know what? They're actually more than good enough that you could do a proper job on them. You know, I do like to edit with headphones, but if I didn't have them, I could definitely use this. They're more than good enough. So speakers are a thumbs up. The next thing is the keyboard. Now, I never actually owned one of the laptops with the butterfly keyboard, but that was a thing that Apple did where they, you know, made the keyboard slightly thinner and they changed the way that the keyboards worked. Obviously they were riddled with t like tons of problems. I've had this laptop for seven months now and I've never once had a problem with this keyboard, with this new style keyboard. New style, old style. It is basically, they reverted back to the style they had before the butterfly keyboard. The thing I like about this is it's familiar to me. It's what I'm used to using. It's nice having a little bit of travel when you press the keys down. It's nice that, you know, you're not just pressing something that sticks, it's just hard. You actually, can feel some satisfaction that you've pressed down the key and it's something that I really like. I've never had any problems with this keyboard, none whatsoever. The only thing that I've had some problems with is the touch bar. Now, the touch bar is nice, don't get me wrong, it looks great, it's a gimmick. The only thing that I would use it for is obviously brightening uh, the screen and you know increasing volume, that sort of thing, but I, I would do that with the keys anyway if I didn't have it. The thing that's been cool about having it is sometimes, sounds really childish this, but if you're talking to someone, you can scroll through the emojis without having to go into the, you know, into clicking things on the screen. You can just get the emojis up and scroll through them. Literally the only thing I've used it for, so take what you want from that really, but it's good for emojis, so, you know. The next thing is the actual, the power of this thing and how fast it is. And for editing, honestly, this thing has been a lifesaver. In terms of importing the 4K footage, it was quick. I didn't have any problems with the import. Basically, I used an external SSD, and this is obviously working with, this is an SSD, this drive. The two communicated perfectly. I had no problems whatsoever with that. In terms of editing the 4K footage, absolutely smooth. And when you use the multicam, it was perfect. Basically, you know, you might have to drop the resolution by half, but other than that, you could literally play four, three or four 4K clips at the same time and it was fine. Render times on this laptop are good, they're fast. Um, again, this laptop for me meant that we could meet deadlines that we wouldn't have been able to meet otherwise. Um, one of the things about my old laptops is that, especially as a videographer and when I've got video editing to do for clients, sometimes a client will say to you, can you get something turned around by this time or you know, by tomorrow. And in the past, I might have had to say, no, I can't. I genuinely don't have enough time. But with this laptop, I was honestly, anything that's thrown at me, I'm able to do it quick. And when it's paired with Final Cut, 
no problems whatsoever, it's just smooth. So the battery on this thing, honestly I have no complaints about the battery. The battery life performs really well, I could on a full charge take it out for the day and use it. Obviously if I'm uh, video editing, you know that drains the battery life much faster so if I'm working with like 4k footage or even just 1080, you know the chances are the battery life's not going to last all day so I do bring my charger and generally when I'm working I keep it plugged in so but I've had no problems with this at all. The one thing that I do find annoying about this laptop is the USB-C slot and I mean I'm sure you've seen this everywhere people are saying you know it's annoying it is you have to remember these things all the time if you you know if you want to import footage um, essentially this thing has four USB-C slots that everything plugs into essentially your charger plugs into them um, any little adapters that you've got all plug into those USB-C's that means it doesn't have your regular USB slots it doesn't have uh, an SD slot or a HDMI slot so any of those things if you want to do you basically have to buy these adapters and that's where Apple have got you by the balls these things cost anything from 20 to 40 pounds and more um, I think this one was 40 but the more the more annoying thing about it is um, look if you have to spend money on buying these things fine it is what it is it's when you get to a job or you get to location and you realize you haven't got these then you're a creek there's nothing you can do in that situation really other than pray someone's got one or drive home and get them so really it's just annoying overall this laptop in my eyes is well worth the money um, Look, it's expensive for a laptop. It's expensive for a computer even. 3,000 pounds nearly is, you know, it's a big outlay. For me, this is my business and I work from home and I operate basically my business from this laptop. All of my work, my edits, um, you know, backing up footage, everything is done on this laptop. And for that, it saved me so much time because it's so smooth, so efficient. Basically, I've been able to do the things that I would have done, what would have took me in a day, a day to do. Now take me half the time using this laptop. So honestly, for me, it's worth it. I'm not saying you couldn't get that with another laptop because of course you could. And there's gonna be comments and people saying, get a Windows computer, it's cheaper. Of course it is. And in that circumstance, it's sort of just what personal preference you have. If you want a Mac, then, you know, you just have to can factor in that you're gonna pay more for it. You're not necessarily getting more value for money from it, but it's more just the user experience that you're paying for. So that's all for this video. If you have any questions about this laptop or if you have any questions at all, please pop them in the comments. I'm gonna be posting videos every week, so feel free to subscribe. Give us a thumbs up, that would help massively. But yeah, I'll reply to all the comments if anyone has any questions about this laptop. I'm sure there's a million things that I've missed, but I just wanted to talk about the things that are important to me on this laptop, and uh, those are the things that I've covered. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed it.